so it's been a few weeks since I've read this because life has gotten in the way, but I'm finally going to finish it within the next few days. So I have read a little bit more. I'm on page 105 and it's really fun. There's lots of like world building and stuff at the moment, which is interesting, but I'm excited for the romance to really pick up. And I'm obviously not going to say spoilers, but you know, I just want to see some dragon scenes. At the moment, the romance is not a huge part of the story, but it's, it's brewing. It's brewing and I appreciate what it's doing at the moment. I'm excited to see how that develops. There's definitely some cringy lines, but thankfully not as bad as I thought because I originally was really excited to read this book and then I saw a few quotes and I was like, oh, but then I got really excited because Caitlin read it and really loved it. And she warned me that there are a few cringy lines, but it's not too overwhelming. And thankfully they're not too often, so it's not annoying me, but it's just honestly funny. Like, what was it? It was scribes training for the win. <laughs> you know, for the win, who has said that in the last like 10 years? Um, but you know what? It's a fun flashback moment. But yeah, the writing's actually, like, fine. Because, like I said, I was scared about the writing style. But yeah, it's, it's good. Like, there are some good quotes, there are some good lines. Really easy to read. So I appreciate the fun that I'm having. And I'm really excited. Like, I'm really in the romance fantasy mode. So I'm excited to just read a lot of it. Hopefully read some more today and then possibly finish it tomorrow. You'll just, you just never know. But yeah, it is fun. Definitely very like tropey, like especially with like the romance and stuff, like it's very predictable, but I don't really care about that. Like I expected that and I don't really mind a very like tropey book if it's done well and if I'm having fun. Because if I'm having fun, that's all I really care about, you know? I got this stunning book face off Amazon. I saw it on Instagram and I am obsessed with it. How pretty. This room is absolute chaos right now because I'm selling a lot of things on my Depop. I'll leave it linked below. But I need to show you these amazing new art prints that I got today. So I ordered them a while back and they finally came. They are from, look how cute the business card is. Shelby DeGamo. I saw them on TikTok and I saw this print specifically. I was obsessed with this holographic bunny print and I got some gifts for friends. So if I give you one of these and you're watching, pretend you didn't see it. I didn't actually get this, but this is just a cute little free thing and it was a nice reminder. There is kindness in the world because I am kind. And how cute is that print? This is the little thank you card, but it's so cute. Because also I'm in my cat era. I love cats now. I got a few of these stickers. I got this bubblegum and Marceline. This really cute bunny sticker. This teddy, this little castle. This Coraline one. I actually rewatched Coraline last night. Thank God. And these cute bunny ones. Oh my God, look at this one. This over the garden wall one. Look at Greg and Wirt. They're so cute. I'm back with Zaya. <laughs> Thank you. Are you having fun? <laughs> so I have a package from Simon & Schuster. So, ooh, did you get scared of the scissors? Good on you. So let's open it. Oh yes, this is very fun actually because Caitlin is on FaceTime right now reading this and she said it's really fun so far. So, Wildfire by Hannah Grace. Did their one night stand start a fire they can't put out, question mark? Oh, Zaya's getting the full show. Oh, cute! Oh my god, it's coming with stickers! Oh my god, look how cute that is. Oh my god, fun stickers. Oh my god, it also has um the icebreaker stickers. Fun. Look at these. <laughs> oh, thank you, some hot chocolate. You won't be having that. <gasps> S'mores Marshmallow. Thank you. Oh, because obviously it's set at a camp. Camp counselors. Oh my God, I ate it of a s'more. And we have the finished copy of Wildfire. Ew. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> a stunning moment. Yeah. So we have a double-sided bookmark, Wildfire and Icebreaker. Oh my God, I'm excited to read this, especially because Caitlin is having fun. So these two characters have a stunning one night stand and then they see each other unexpectedly at a camp because they're both camp counselors. So how fun is that premise? And I love a story set at a camp. So I will be reading this. And thank you so much to Simon & Schuster for sending that my way. Anyway, today is the day that I will be hopefully finishing 
Fourth wing. <laughs> I forgot the name for a second. I didn't mean to threaten you with my scissors. Aren't you a good boy? slay happening right now so i'm on page 179 and i am obsessed with this book like i was just enjoying it for the most part read oh my god my phone case is stuck <laughs> i have one of those phone cases well it's a case to buy case but it has the picture pal suction thing on the back so i can like put it on mirrors and stuff to take photos i really recommend this but anyway yeah i was like enjoying the book like you know having a fun time but now i feel the full fantasy magic because we're really in the dragons moment because in this academy it's a huge thing if you're going to bond with a dragon because it's really hard to bond with a dragon so we just have that scene and obviously yeah won't say spoilers but oh my god i am obsessed Obsessed. and i just love how it's done in this because like for example the dragons can speak to their riders only but i was nervous that it was going to be a silly and terrifying mouths moving moment but thankfully they kind of just communicate through thoughts so their mouths don't move <laughs> and i love that and just a description of like the dragons flying and stuff oh my god i want a dragon I would love a dragon. So yeah, I'm literally obsessed and I can't wait to keep reading and I'm just having a really, really fun time. Like the escapism I feel right now is beautiful. Like I am enjoying the romance element, but honestly, at the moment, all I care about are the dragons. Are you a fourth wing stan, Zaya? Okay, so I am on page 207 and still loving it. And I realized I had a few other things to say, so... I know I said that this is very like tropey and it is, but it's also very unique and the story is definitely going in a place that I didn't expect. So that's really fun. And there have been some really fun reveals and I'm really interested in the plot, the world and the characters, which is rare for me because it's hard for me to really care about the plot. Well, I guess if I care about the characters, I usually care about the plot, but you know, I'm a character driven reader. So for me to be like really invested in the plot is a good sign. And I just really love how this world works and obviously love the dragons. I even have a dragon tab for my annotating system. So at the moment I have a tab for romance, love, world building, dragons, and ew. The ew tab needed to be introduced because the character starting with D, piss off. I hate that weirdo. He's really annoying me. But yeah, the romance is brewing and I really appreciate it. And it's really fun. They definitely have, you know, the hate to love dynamic. And it's done really well, in my opinion, because with enemies to lovers, I feel like sometimes they're not actually enemies or they don't actually hate each other. So I'm kind of like, were they even enemies? But no, like, especially in the beginning, they definitely are enemies and they want to like kill each other. So it's really fun. This is a really fun dragon element. <laughs> I am filming a spoiler filled vlog for my Patreon. So thankfully I can talk about my spoilers there. But yeah, obviously I want to keep this spoiler free for people who haven't read it yet, but I will link my spoiler filled vlog if you want to watch it. But yeah, there's lots to say and it's very fun. I also really like the world building in this book because for example, at the beginning of each chapter, there's a little excerpt from like, you know, different books in the library and stuff about the world and i really love that it's just a fun little quick way to learn more about the world and it's usually relevant to the chapter i'm having fun i'm having fun so i'm on page 276 and i'm reading a bit before bed and i was like oh i'm kind of tired like i'd probably just read a little bit but i am reading a really fun scene right now maybe i will stay up late reading and i have my cutie zaya next to me immaculate vibes. I have my stunning lights on and I love to read a fun fancy romance into the night. Oh my god, okay, let's see if something fun happens. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> they are so fun. 
<gasps> wow, I do love the word astonishing. I do. <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was a fun chapter. Thank you, chapter 22. I really do love this book. It's really, really fun and it's so easy to read. And I also don't know if I've mentioned it, but I really love Violet as a main character and she has a chronic illness. That's just really beautiful to see in a fantasy novel because that's obviously rare especially with a main character. And she is obviously such a GB goddess. She is intelligent and she uses her strengths to her advantage. Like she's really smart with using her strengths and knowing her strengths. And I just think she's really cool. This is just the perfect escapism that I need. So thank you to fantasy and romance and people who write books. I really appreciate you. I've read so many books that I am so grateful for. I actually looked at my Goodreads and I think it said like I read over 600 books in my life and that is crazy to think about. Anyway, I want to keep reading. <laughs> Hello. 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 <laughs> you are funny. So I did not finish fourth week last night. I'm on page 223. I would love to finish it before I go because I am going to see Wicked tonight, which is so exciting because I've actually never, I don't even know like the Wicked story. And I know a few of the songs, but not really. And you know, origin story of the Wicked Witch of the West, that sounds amazing. So I'm really excited. Yes, I'm gonna read more before I go, but I don't know if I'll be able to finish it. If I can't finish it tonight, I'm definitely finishing it tomorrow. I'm so excited to see how it wraps up. And thank God I don't have to wait long for book two. But I wanted to show some fun things I got off Depop recently. So I got this pack. This is the cutest little like denim patchwork kind of vibe. And it has Stitch. I love Stitch. And then I just have this Swarovski bunny charm on it. And yeah, I love this bag. It's my like, new everyday bag. And then in the mail just then I got a package from the store's actual angel on Depop. They make cute like earrings and stuff so I thought I'd open it. I got these cute ghost face earrings. These cute daggers with the bows. Oh my god I love them. I love to place them Uno. So I got these earrings. <laughs> but I only play Uno with the fun rules because if you play Uno with like the basic rules it's really boring. But my friends and I had created our own rules and if you play it that way it's really fun. And then I also got this really cute necklace with this fairy. Absolutely ethereal. Lastly, this little My Melody charm. Oh my god, look at my nails, by the way. Look how stunning. And I haven't decided where I'm going to put her. Like, I could put her here. Or I could put her on my bag. Or I could put her on my keys. Like, that's a cute one. Oh, love it. Yeah, love Depop. And I am going to go read now. So I read a little bit, I have over 100 pages left of fourth wing and some really exciting and fun things happened. So I'm having a lot of fun and I brought my book to read more on the train. Next morning. <laughs> I stuffed myself with the bag. Hello, hello. So. I have finished Fourth Wing. I went to the park, well actually the lake, to finish the book and it was so stunning. I finished it by the sunset and it was beautiful and I had so much fun with the last 100 pages. As you would expect, it had, you know, the chaotic climax in a fantasy novel and it was really fun. There was something that happened that was just really typical of a fantasy novel that annoyed me because I'm just like, oh my god, I've read this so many times. So it definitely wasn't shocking or anything to me and it kind of annoys me, but obviously I won't say what that is, but yeah, that definitely made me like roll my eyes a bit, <laughs> but really good ending and the last lines, I was like, oh, so I'm really excited for the second book and I think this series is going to be like a five book series or something. I think that's what Caitlin said. So that's really exciting and I'm so happy that I've, you know, read the first book as it's come out and I get to wait for the second book, 
which is coming out in November, I think, so I don't have to wait long. And then I get to read all the other books as they come out. Like, that is such a fun moment. And it's been so long since I've been, like, excited for a new release in a series. So I'm so happy that I love this. And yeah, I ended up giving it four out of five stars. It didn't quite reach the five star level because there were moments that I was, like, a little bit bored. But overall, obviously, super engaging and loved the characters, loved the romance, loved the dragons. Yeah, like, it was just a really fun time. And I really loved the unique way that dragons had a role in this world. I haven't really seen that before. And I would like a dragon. So if anyone has one to spare, please let me know. But yeah, I am going to end the vlog. If you're looking for more content from me, I have my Patreon always linked below. I have my other channels linked below, all my socials and everything. I hope you're all having a good day and night. I appreciate you. And I'll hopefully see you in my next video. Bye.